Okay, in this video we're going to talk about integrals that lead to arctans, um, which if you do a lot of integrals or antiderivatives, you'll find uh, this comes up all the time, um, almost an unreasonable amount, really. And so here's kind of the basic formula. It's the integral of du over 1 plus u squared. That's going to integrate into arctan of u and then plus c, of course. So there are two things that I like to highlight in this. One of them is um, this one in the denominator. So if you don't have a one there, um, you're going to have to rearrange things a little bit, and we'll do an example where that happens. And then after you get a one there, you have to look and see that the thing you're adding to it is actually u squared. So we're going to have to rewrite that a little bit. But if you keep those two things in mind, these are, are pretty much not really too difficult. So let's take a look at an example. So we have the integral from uh, no the integral of dx over one plus four x squared. So immediately you look at it and you see there's already a 1, so that part's done. Now we look at the second part and we see 4x squared. Well, 4x squared is supposed to be u squared, so we want to rewrite this so that we can really see what u is. So I'm going to start with the integral, dx over 1 plus, and then if u squared is 4x squared, then u is probably, or definitely rather, 2x, so it's going to be the quantity 2x squared. Once I do that, I can kind of just work it out. So u is 2x which means that du is 2dx, which means I can replace dx with 1 half du. And so now I can make my substitutions, and I'll get the integral of 1 half du over 1 plus u squared. So that 1 half uh, just gets pulled out, and then it's exactly arctan, right? du over 1 plus u squared. So that's going to be the arctan of u. And then don't forget plus c. And then we go back to the original variable, which was x, so we make our substitution, 1 half uh, arctan of 2x plus c. All right, I'm going to do another example. So here we have uh, the integral of dx over 4 plus 25x squared. So look at it, and immediately so you don't have a 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 4 out of everything in the denominator and pull it out as 1 fourth. So 1 fourth, the integral of dx, 1 plus, and now we have 25x squared over 4. I look at that, that I know is supposed to be u squared, so I can keep going, so I get 1 fourth, and then dx over 1 plus, so if u squared is 25x squared over 4, then u is 5x over 2, so the quantity 5x over 2 squared, and now I can just do substitution, so u is 5x over 2, which means du is 5 halves dx, or dx is 2 fifths du, and I can do straight substitution here. So I get 1 fourth, uh, 2 fifth du, 1 plus u squared. Um, and the next step, I'm going to pull the 2 fifths out. So I get 2 over 20, which is 1 tenth. So 1 tenth. Now it's just the integral of du over 1 plus u squared is always arctan of u and plus c. And then go back to the original by making substitution. So we have 1 tenth, the arctan of 5x over 2, and then plus c. Let's take a look at one more example. Uh, because sometimes these are a little messy. So here we have the integral of 3x dx over 7 plus 16x to the fourth. Um, and you, your instinct on a lot of things that end up as arctan is to first think that they're actually natural logs. Um, but when you do the u substitution, it just won't work out. And so that's how you kind of know it's probably an arctan. So first, I look at this 7. It's not a 1, so I have to factor a 7 out of everything in the denominator. I'm also going to pull the 3 out of the numerator, so I'm taking out 3 sevenths integral x dx over 1 plus, now I have 16x to the 4th over 7, and I look at that, that's supposed to be u squared, so u is just kind of ugly here, it's going to be 4x squared over radical 7, it doesn't really matter, um, so let's, let's rewrite it, because it doesn't change the process, it's just kind of uglier, so the quantity, and it's 4x squared over radical 7, and then uh, that's supposed to be squared, but I didn't write it, so there you go. Um, so u is um, 4x squared over radical 7, du is 8x, so it's like 4 times 2x is 8x over radical 7 dx, so then radical 7 over 8, du is x dx, and I can make all my substitutions, so I've got 3 sevenths, radical 7 over 8 du, 1 plus u squared, and remember in the previous step I forgot to square that. Um, and so this, I'm going to pull out the radical 7 over 8 to give me this ugly 3 root 7 over 56. And then I just have du over 1 plus u squared, which integrates to arctan of u. And then plus c. 
And so my final answer here is going to be going back to the original. Uh, 3 root 7 over 56, arctan of 4x squared over root 7, and then plus c. So sometimes they're ugly, but the process is exactly the same. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.